and it's all, you know, you have to take 100% responsibility for state of mind. But there is a lesson in the Course 136, Sickness is a Defense Against the Truth. And in there, he talks about, he, he's talking about how, like, defenses are like these little magic wands that you wave. And, and then he even uses the term, the phrase, a quick forgetting. So in other words, that's, he's describing the whole dynamics that you're talking about right there in Lesson 136, where it's like the mind makes up this whole scenario, the symptoms and whatever, and then forgets that it did it, and then projects out, the ego projects out the cause into something in the world, as if, you know, the pain, the discomfort, the symptom had to come from something in the world, uh, like sunburn coming from you know, the radiation from the sun's rays. See how that's carefully now, we got the sun to blame. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just a bunch of gases burning in the sky. That damn sunburn, that damn sun is burning me. Like, you know, as if it's, it's always got to be something outside, you know, that's doing something. It's just a bunch of burning gases and it's like, oh, that burn, I should got to wear those protective UV <laughs> things, and protective, wear sun hats and all these things. I remember one time I went to Argentina, and I went down there, and I was going to all these gatherings, and I went to the swimming pool, they have a swimming pool, so I went out, and I just got on one of these floating devices, and just was just, just laying out there, just, just meditating, and, you know, just out there, just meditating, meditating. Well, the, my friend Maria, Christina York, her daughter Florencia came out, and she was just started screaming at me in the pool. She's just like going, David, David, get out of the pool, get out of the pool. You thought there was like a shark or something. <laughs> She's like screaming, like 30 years old, very passionate, get out of the pool, get out of the pool. And I just kind of looked at her, and she said, like, the sun, the sun, you don't know, you don't know how it is down here, and you know, and it's just complaining. To and she just was screaming and screaming and screaming, and I mean, I was just like, uh, so finally I just started going, I started blowing kisses, <laughs> and she was like, ah, <laughs> her mind was like, no, but that was the first of many interactions with her, you know, where it was just like, I was there just to be happy, joyful, and pretty much just showing that I'm unaffected by these things in the world. I, when I went to New Zealand the first time too, Kirsten, they took me to a beach to do teachings, like Jesus did teachings, you know, on a boat or on the beach. They took me to one of these beaches, and they went out there, and I was teaching like, from like, I don't know, for hours. I just stood out there on the beach, and teaching and teaching, and they were watching the body start to turn <laughs> deep shades of of red. I guess it was probably like watching a piece of bacon <laughs> fry on the beach or something like this. And the funny thing was, it was a big crowd. Half of them were, were like saying, should we tell him uh, what's happening? And then the other half were going, he's a mystic. Uh, no, we're not. We're trying to pay attention to the teachings and not get distracted by the this frying kind of <laughs> But again, to me, it was just it was like color. I was like, I, I had a great time. I just was, loved sharing the joy and everything. And the, the shade changed from like white to beet red or something like that. And, but I didn't, feel, I didn't feel any discomfort with it. In fact, that was probably part of the teaching, that there's nothing outside of you that can hurt you. You know, it's all thought. That's what the Course teaches. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. Right. So, it's when it's people get so concerned about food, I've kind of been like the let's get Mikey guy in the little commercial, you know, he'll eat anything. <laughs> they, sometimes they'll, I remember once at the Peace House, it was like, they got some of this milk out. You were talking about the in inflection <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> they got this milk out, one person went, <laughs> and then they got the other person, <laughs> and another one, and, and then so they just they just left it on the counter. For you. And so I came out, and I they're just like they watched me <laughs> like pour, pour the milk, and then I was like, I got 
<laughs> it's just kind of out of pattern kind of experience. But, but, but you do, you get more and more into it. Like, I don't, I mean, the stuff you were talking about this, I don't, see, I don't believe in it, so it's just was words to me bacteria and inflection rates and this and this and this. It's like. I you, eating a loaf, loaf of moldy bread too at the peace house, and everybody else was going, oh, and David says, <laughs> it's just like props for me, you know, milk, milk, man's bread. But I didn't want to tell him, then I realized he doesn't even notice that. I lived in a hermitage one time in the woods in Michigan, and I was up there, you know, just living up there and everything, and my friend Thomas came up, and this was like my second hermitage, so I guess years before I had taken like canned food down to this hermitage that I had in uh, Kentucky. And I just had it there, and I was down there for quite a while. And then when I, I got to move to Michigan, I thought, oh, another hermitage. I'll take the food along. So I brought the cans up there and everything. Thomas came there. He was in, he was going through my cupboards, I guess, uh, up there, which, you know, I didn't even eat hardly at all, but I, I was like, had all these cans and everything, and he went in there one day, and he started looking at the expiration dates <laughs> on the can, and he was like, oh my god, this is like years old, you've got this, this old, <laughs> stale corn or peas, and I'm like, I mean, I, I can't believe in this stuff, stale food, who made this stuff up, stale food, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's food, it's a can of food in there, you know, and he's like, he's throwing out, he's just pitching out all these things. But you just start to have fun with it, because, because again, it's, it's just concepts, you know, we don't have to take all of these concepts so seriously. And, and obviously things like nutrition, and all this stuff, you know, people really, you know, take all, put a lot of faith in all that stuff, and then you start to see it's, it's what Jesus said 2,000 years ago, it's not what you put in your mouth that defiles, you know, his whole teaching was on purification of, on the inside. Purify your mind, purify your thoughts, purify your consciousness. And and I think that's just a real practical teaching, that when you really start to get into this, you know, you start to see that it's all a state of mind, and that everything you think and believe and feel and perceive is, is all connected based on, on what's going on within. And then in the end, more you start to have this experience that there is no within and without, <coughs> even. You don't, you don't start seeing the world as out there. You start to realize that, yeah, ideas leave out their source, and the world is in your mind where it's always been. And uh, then the world is benign. Then the world is, is a friendly world. If you have a friendly mind, and the world is in your mind, then you have a friendly world. It's just common divine logic, but it's just, it takes, that's why we have A Course in Miracles, it's just a mind training tool to take us inward into that state of mind. And it works. So that's good news. And we rejoice together, we laugh together, you know, we play together. That's natural, you know, like I call it like a sandbox. It's all just props. Like when you go to a theater, you know, it's the props that are on the stage. They're just props, you know. They, don't, they aren't real things. It's like just props that are getting used in a, in a relaxing way, in a, as a backdrop for mind training. And that's all they're for. You know, they're not for anything else other than the mind training. And the props that, that are part of the plan, so to speak, are given. <coughs> You know, they don't come through much struggle, or fighting, or, you know, trying to make things happen. It's more just like, ah, oh, oh, it is given. Thank you. Ah, oh, it is given. Thank you. That's a nice way to live your life. It is given. Thank you. You know, it, can it be that simple? It is given. Thank you. Yes. That's, that's the way it goes. You know, when you just surrender. So, it's fun too. You know, it's meant to be fun. <laughs> <laughs>